Hello everyone and welcome back to Bitcoin Tips. So today I'm going to be talking about how I got my start in cryptocurrency and in Bitcoin over the past six years and how I've gotten to where I am today in the world of cryptocurrency. Um, and I'm hoping that you guys can see in this video and use the strategies that I used even back in 2015 when I first started today. And while they might not seem like they would work, I still fully believe that you can use these same strategies to start earning passive income using Bitcoin and cryptocurrency today in 2021. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So of course, we're going to start off here looking at the Bitcoin price today. Of course, $61,179.30. That is super, super expensive. When I first started with Bitcoin, I have the chart pulled up here to the 2015 range. Now, I don't remember the exact day uh, that I first started researching Bitcoin, but I do know that it was in somewhere in January of 2015. Now, looking here, whoops, I'm not even on, it'd help if I had the uh, right year. Sometimes this thing gets a little bit confusing here, but uh, January of 2015, you can see here that, you know, it was, you know, a couple hundred dollars, 200, 300 dollars, you know, depending on the day. Now, even in, you know, March, it was, you know, just under 300 dollars. So, I remember um, the thing that first got me interested in cryptocurrency, actually, I have the video pulled up here with a screenshot. It was from Linus Tech Tips, a huge, huge technology channel on YouTube. If you somehow haven't heard about them, go check them out. They're super cool. But they were doing a tour of this place called Free Geek. It was basically a computer electronics recycling place. And in this scene here, you can see He's holding a bunch of what were really the first gen of PCI riser cards and had the um, the sentence in the video was, I think the Bitcoin mining craze is over. So switching back to here, you know, this is, you know, Bitcoin, obviously $220, you know, between two and three hundred dollars, you know, just say that. And I, I remember I was watching that video eating lunch and, you know, I thought, wow, you know, I, I've heard of Bitcoin before, what is it? Um, and then I, you know, kind of did a few more Google searches, you know, saw, you know, the price of it, obviously, and found a few other YouTube videos of, uh, there was a guy who was talking about some Bitcoin ASIC miners. Now, these were very, very early ASIC miners, you know, I don't even know if it was like an S2 or an S3, um, and then some other one, company that's you know no longer around now these were asic miners that you could have sit on your desk and it would be completely fine to be sitting next to it you know it had a fan you could hear it but nothing like the industrial you know 12,000 rpm fans you know on on the machines today you know some of them even at this time still ran off of usb power and were profitable so very very different times but um you know i started watching this video and and the guy was you know, plugging these things in and earning money just by having this computer running. And I, of course, have always been interested in computers, the, you know, technology and the internet and stuff like that. So I thought, you know, this is super cool. Um, you know, this is, this is a really cool thing. And, you know, I, I would like to learn a little bit more about this. And, you know, is it even real? You know, you've seen scams throughout the history of the internet. And of course, you know, the history of the world too, you know, donate this money to this prince and you'll, you know, get an additional 2000% on top of it kind of things. And, you know, without really knowing what was cryptocurrency and, and how it worked, you know, it kind of seemed like it could be a scam, you know, $200 for what is essentially a file on your computer. And, you know, one of the biggest technology YouTube channels out here is saying, hey, you know, the Bitcoin mining craze is probably over, you know, what's the point of getting into it now? So, through a few more YouTube videos, some articles, stuff like that online, I came across free Bitcoin. Now, of course, again, if you're in cryptocurrency at all, free Bitcoin you've probably seen, you may have an account, you may even use this every single day. Free Bitcoin is a great faucet, um, and I learned basically what a faucet is. Um, was a website with ads on it that would pay you in cryptocurrency to go on the site and basically view the ads. Very simple, um, and again, this was, you know, all about within a few days. 
So, you know, I made an account here on the site, which I still have. This is the original account. Um, and, you know, I created an account on Coinbase um, for a Bitcoin wallet. And I claimed, you know, a couple times a day. Um, and at the time, you know, your minimum payout was, you know, maybe 20, 30,000 Satoshis, you know, at today's price would be, you know, quite a bit more, um, you know, looking at what a 20,000, um, you know, it's 12 bucks an hour if you were, um, you know, claiming and just holding it uh, to right now. So, you know, $12 an hour, that's, you know, comparable to some, you know, fast food jobs and stuff like that. So that was, you know, at the time, few pennies, same, they adjusted their rates. It's the same as what you're earning today, just less Satoshis because Bitcoin's more expensive. So getting back to the story here, you know, kind of I went through and I claimed, you know, a couple times a day and Sunday of that week rolled around and of course I had enabled the free Bitcoin automatic payment to my Coinbase wallet. You know, I woke up the next morning, was doing some stuff and I thought, yo, you know, I, I think there was that, uh, you know, Bitcoin thing that was supposed to happen today. And I logged in and I remember I had 14 cents, uh, you know, nothing to celebrate about. You know, you can probably not even find a single thing in, that's in a store that you could buy for 14 cents. But from that moment, I was like, this is the coolest thing. You know, I, I successfully made 14 cents of money online and I did almost no work, you know, not including the reading, the research, stuff like that. So fast forwarding a little bit, I did find a few cloud mining sites and stuff like that. Some of them ended up being scams. Um, I ended up losing, you know, realistically looking back on it, it was probably $20 um, that I had accumulated from faucets, you know, free Bitcoin, the moon faucets, and then a number of faucets that aren't around anymore, like Monster BTC. Um, man, there were there were a bunch that I don't remember exactly anymore. But, um, you know, I collected, a, you know, maybe $15, $20. And I found this site that even looking at it with today's standards, knowing what I know now, probably wouldn't have invested, but it was still one of the more uh, legit sites. You know, it offered a, a decent return, you know, four or five percent a year. So, you know, nothing crazy. Um, you know, some of these sites that come out and say, you know, a percent a day or something. So the percentage checked out, but they ended up being a scam and closed down. You know, I lost that money and I was like, you know what, this isn't worth it. You know, I spent, you know, maybe a month getting that, you know, lost it in one site, you know, I'm done. Stopped, you know, doing anything with crypto for a few months. And then just one day, you know, kind of thought again, I wonder what it's doing. I want, I want to see, is there anything new? And this is probably, you know, the course of a year was that, you know, not a ton of stuff happened coming towards the end of 2015 into 2016. You know, I started looking at it again, Bitcoin's 450, $500, you know, not even 500 yet. Um, and I do remember, you know, this day here in May, um, you know, not specifically the day, but just seeing Bitcoin cross $500, I was like, this is crazy. You know, there are people out there paying $500 for this computer file that is essentially worthless. Um, and, you know, seeing the faucets and, and seeing cloud mining sites and kind of watching more YouTube videos on it, you know, after a year, Bitcoin was already that much more popular. There were more people doing content on it, stuff like that. It was a little bit more inviting than even when I first started in early 2015. So I, get, I decided, you know, I'm going to get back in, you know, free Bitcoin, you know, the moon faucets, which again are no longer around, uh, some other faucets, you know, just that were around. Um, there were some lists that, you know, of faucets that I went down one night and just claimed crypto. You know, I started claiming Litecoin. I started claiming Dogecoin, um, you know, some of these altcoins and just kind of working as much as I could to build it up for free. So I never did invest any money into crypto. And I think that's the big thing that a lot of people think today is, you know, Bitcoin's so expensive, Litecoin's so expensive, Ethereum's so expensive. I don't have the money to invest. It's not for me. I can't do it. That's what I'm trying to, you know, kind of get across in this, you know, video about my story here is you can do this. If you really want to, you can get all of the crypto for free and then turn around and invest it smartly and build it through safe sites. So definitely super cool. Um, and then I came across a site called EOBot, which was a cloud mining site. Um, I'm not even sure if they are still around because I know they had to close down. 
Yeah, so it looks like they had to close down here. But, um, you know, this site was super cool. I used them for years. Um, this was one of my favorite sites, if not, you know, the most favorite site because it was a legitimate cloud mining site that allowed you to buy fractions of giga hashes. So if you had five cents to invest, you could. And then you could let that speed build up and you could mine more giga hashes, meaning you were just, you know, building up your speed. Or you could mine, you know, one of maybe 20 currencies they had on the site. So I took everything that I had for a long time and I put it into this site. You know, probably not the smartest thing, but it did work out. This site was super, super good. Um, you know, still really sad that they did have to close down due to some laws and regulations, but highly recommended this site for years. It was about this time that I, you know, started seeing some, you know, referral links and stuff like that and thought, you know, maybe I should make a YouTube video. You know, YouTube's always interested me. I've always liked, you know, videos, editing, stuff like that. Let me do a screen recording of free Bitcoin and, you know, see what happens. So screen recorded free Bitcoin just like this, you know, very briefly, you know, you come on here, you click roll, you close the site. Take that money at the end of the week, put it in EOBot, you're good to go. That's it. That video, you know, the first few, you know, I, I made didn't do great. You know, they got 10, 15, 20 views, whatever. It was a new channel. Um, I stuck with it and then I made a video I think it was uh, end of 2016 going into 2017. Uh, I think it was titled World's Best and Highest Paying Faucets and then a, another one, Best and Highest Paying Cloud Mining Sites. Those two videos got over 100,000 views. That was insane to me at the time. Um, of course, you know, the channel grew quite a bit. Um, and then I started getting some referral clicks and making a little bit more on the crypto side. So I was like, this is super cool. Um, you know, how can I take this and help other people out there, you know, start making money with cryptocurrency? Not only is it going to help me, it's going to help the community of crypto and it's going to help the people that watch my videos possibly, you know, pay the bills or, you know, just make a little bit of extra money for spending on hobbies or fun things. And really, without, uh, you know, counting all the research and reading and stuff, actually making the money with crypto using these faucets is super simple. Um, you know, I think it was, you know, compared to working a job and, you know, if you just held on to the crypto, the return on investment with this would be absolutely insane. Um, and really, if you look at Bitcoin and its uh, economics behind it right now, it is just structured to continue going up in value. How long that'll take, who knows? You have to be willing to, you know, ride out the storm. There's going to be days where you lose money. There's going to be days where you, you know, make a lot of money. Um, you know, in the title of this video, zero to a hundred thousand uh, dollars. You know, I started with nothing, and at one point, you know, during the bull run of 2021 here, due to Dogecoin, I did get up towards that level um, with all the crypto that I have. So that's super super cool um and i think like i said although bitcoin is so expensive today um, and it looks a lot more daunting and a lot more scary to get into because of this higher price it is still absolutely 100 percent possible for you to take these strategies um, that i talk about on this channel every other day you know new sites faucets cloud mining sites investment sites stuff like that and then of course just overall crypto news and staying up to date taking all of that information, you can use this to start making money with cryptocurrency and Bitcoin online today. So that's kind of just a brief overview of how I got started with cryptocurrency and how I've gotten to where I am today. Um, you know, of course, there were some other events in there that, um, you know, swayed things. And like I said, if you're going to get into crypto, just like any other investment, be prepared to lose some money, even if you don't invest anything. So that's kind of... Um, that you're going to want to remember because you will lose some money overall in crypto whether you invest or not. So if you guys like this video, make sure to leave a like, consider subscribing and staying up to date with the bell icon on all the videos about new sites and ways to earn money with crypto that I'm doing here on the channel. I really do hope you enjoyed um, and if you want to learn more about crypto, like I said, make sure you're subscribed for every other day videos. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.